Hey guys, welcome back. This is Ernie with LearningConstruction.com and on this video we're going to talk about forms. Learning Construction. Learn. Share. Expand. My good friend Bob from PSI Concrete in San Jose and uh, he's going to explain to us a little bit of how we install the forms for a uh, large foundation for such as labs. In particular right now we're doing a commercial building so basically we're creating the forms for the perimeter of the building. Yeah, well, first we, the surveyor lays out our hubs, our reference points. And from those points, we uh, take dimensions off of those points and put other points on the corners of our foundation. Then we string lines above those points, and we get those lines set to the elevation of the finished floor. And then we uh, drive stakes around the perimeter of those lines, and then we start hanging the forms on those lines. And we brace the, the forms so that when we pour the concrete, the concrete doesn't move. And that's pretty much it, but there's a lot of little tricks to this too. You gotta, you gotta brace those forms good, otherwise the concrete's gonna blow them out and you're gonna have a mess on your hands. So, yeah. And what? they have to be very exact by dimension and they have to be very exact by elevation. So how often do you put the, uh, the, the wood stakes? Uh, the stakes are for a wall that's two feet tall. The stakes are no more than uh, four feet. They're actually about three feet apart, and so are the stakes. The uh, brace stakes are about three feet apart also. So yeah, you need that. If the wall gets higher, you need to put the upright stakes closer and the brace stakes closer. How do you keep the forms straight? How do you know that you're putting the forms straight? We string a line from one corner to the next corner, and we set that line about an eighth inch above the form, and then we uh, brace the uh, panel to that, the form to that uh, line. That's how we keep it straight. And we're always checking and double checking and triple checking to make sure we're not off. What happens to where the wood stakes when you pour the concrete? Okay, when we pour the concrete, we have to uh, uh, pull all the wood stakes out of the concrete uh, while it's still wet enough, so we assign that task to uh, one or two or three guys, however many it takes to, to uh, take care of that. Okay. Well, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you liked it. And uh, don't forget to check out learningconstruction.com. You should check out PSI's website as well. If you, if you have any questions or comments, always go to the box below. And uh, 